The Golden Gate Bridge stands today as an international icon, a symbol of innovation, stick to what man could do during a very difficult time in our history. Before San Francisco's landmark bridge was built, a mile stretch of Pacific Ocean, known as the Golden Gate Strait, separated the majestic city by the bay and neighboring Marin County. And the most practical way for commuters to get from one side to the other was by boat. In the 1920s, an engineer named Joseph Strauss and his team began working on a plan to change that. The only thing that stood in their way? High winds, strong currents, dense fog, the occasional earthquake, and the single largest economic depression the country had ever experienced. Piece of cake. It took over a decade, but Strauss finally got his plan approved and convinced the people in the community to cough up the 30 or so million dollars he needed to begin construction. They were so enthused at this innovation that they agreed in November of 1930 to back the bonds to build the Golden Gate Bridge. That meant they put their farms, their vineyards, their homes, their businesses up as collateral to back the Golden Gate Bridge construction. It also didn't hurt that the founder of the Bank of America agreed to back the project in an effort to boost the local economy. Construction began January 5th, 1933, and in no time, men with little experience in the skilled trades became high-flying, death-defying bridge builders. Workers moved tons of dirt and rock to make way for almost 200,000 cubic yards of concrete needed to build the bases. Others became adept at manipulating newly forged steel. It was an impossible job, with hazards too many to count. But on this project, potential dangers were met head on. Strauss was the man that implemented a number of safety measures for the first time on a major construction project in this country. Hard hats, safety nets, special cream for the wind, pills for the dizziness. He really took to heart the safety measures and it saved a tremendous number of lives. While 11 men did perish, those nets prevented another 19 from plummeting to their deaths, earning each one membership into the exclusive fraternity known as the Halfway to Hell Club. What the engineers dreamed up and workers then built was nothing short of a miracle. The foundations are earthquake proof, dug deep into the bedrock to support the giant, almost 900,000 tons of steel. A staggering 1.2 million rivets were hammered into each tower, which in turn support the two main cables. Cables that are 36 inches in diameter, and inside each of those, 80,000 miles of wire, enough to crisscross the country 13 times. As a finishing touch to the stylish Art Deco design, the bridge was painted a now famous international orange deemed the perfect complement to the surrounding landscape. In 1937, the impressive span was completed and opened amidst massive fanfare. Over 200,000 people showed up to walk across the improbable structure, forged out of Pennsylvania steel and the sweat of determined men. The men that built the Golden Gate Bridge had hearts as big as the Golden Gate Bridge and pride as tall as the Golden Gate Bridge Towers. They were an incredible group of men that were so thankful to have a job, to feed their families, to be able to build what became an international icon. It's the bridge built by the people for the people.